uh, there's this girl that I've gotten to know who I allowed myself to get a little bit of a crush on, I guess. And, um, you got your voice memo? Welcome guys, um, so this is another video that I'm shooting that's pretty different from what I usually put out and driving here I was contemplating if I should post this on YouTube because lately I've been doing Instagram content of like a lot of b-roll action of my brothers talking to the camera really and so I just thought of a video that I was inspired by that my brother had showed me of like people being vulnerable and like opening up being transparent so i was like why not ask matt my son my seedling to do a video because i feel like he's like one of the most perfect people that i could choose for this and so i got to know matt pretty good over quarantine as he joined our 10 p.m and quarantine group bible study group every night and slowly watch him grow closer to the lord and it was just awesome seeing that and so yeah you're going to hear more about matt and how he's been doing lately at school because he's a junior and so yeah let's get into it <laughs> you want to introduce yourself um for those who don't know me my name is matt uh my real name is matthias but a lot of people call me matt i'm a junior here at doc uh and Ralph is one of my closest friends, so was, this should be fun. <laughs> uh, first day of school, I was really anxious, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Every year at the beginning, I always think that people aren't going to like me for some reason. So I have a lot of anxiety, uh, which can be crushing sometimes. But um, I'm learning how to push through it. And uh, my counselor, Miss Lehman, has really helped me with that. So I just came into school with a positive mindset, with grades and friends and stuff like that, and just tried to push past anxiety. So it was a, it was a lot of anxiety uh, that first day. It kind of goes away after a little bit, but it was definitely was rough. A close relationship with Evan. Um, definitely my boy Alex. Uh, he's really been there for me, and I've been there for him. Uh, through his breakup and through mine, uh, I don't know. It's just really been a strong, like, brother relationship. I don't even consider him a friend anymore. He's really my brother. Uh, it, it's just, I don't know. I love that kid so much, and uh, I just know he'll always be there for me when I need the most, and he'll always keep it real with me, even if I don't want to hear what he's saying. Um, I know whatever he's saying is coming from love, and... Uh, yeah, man, he's really my best friend. So I, I, I can't say enough about that kid. He's really everything to me. Um, the enemy is trying to get to me in a way. I don't know. I just feel like I kind of feel like the devil is trying to take away my positive attitude and my goals I've set this year. He's trying to, I guess, like get me off track of that. But I think I'm starting to come back around to it my grades and homework I've been on top of lately so I just feel like all in all I think I've been pretty good with keeping my goals this year so far all right so uh, before quarantine I was a kind of a Christian but not really I didn't really pray I didn't really know how to pray but um during quarantine Ralph gave me a call and he was just checking up on me and asked how I was doing with the Lord. I said, it was good, but I could do, I could be doing better. And he told me about a Bible study. Him and his brothers were starting up called 10 p.m. Oh, no, it wasn't even called 10 p.m. quarantine at that point. I don't even know what they called it. But um, he just told me that they were having a Bible study. And um, I was kind of like unsure at first, but he said, do you want to join? And I told him yes. And so <laughs> he would, uh, the first day, I think it was like a Wednesday night, he told me that tonight was going to be the first night of uh, Bible study. And he told me to join at like 9 p.m. or 10 p.m., whenever it started. And um, 
I was acting like I was doing something with my mom when I really wasn't. I was just terrified of the fact that I would have to probably pray in front of people and open up in front of people. And so I skipped that night. I think I skipped the next uh, Bible study. And then the third one, I kept trying to, like, get out of it. I couldn't think of a way to get out. And Ralph just said, like, no, you're joining this time. So I joined. And uh, it was like a normal Bible study. I, don't know if, I forget what we talked about. But at the end, we all went around praying. And I was acting like my phone was lagging. And I couldn't uh, hear them talking. Because I was so scared to pray. But uh, I was so scared to pray, pray in front of people, which is like the dumbest thing ever because I can pray in front of 100 people now, which is crazy. But um, yeah, that's how I think about when, like, how I started my uh, relationship with Christ and how Ralph and his brothers have really motivated me um, just to be excited about God and not be scared to talk about God in front of other people, which is something that's uh, something that I struggle with sometimes. But, um, now just from tempe quarantine until now um it's been like a year and a half maybe it's been like a while it doesn't feel like it but it has um my mindset has just totally changed um with everything like how i approach school people girls i want to talk to um i don't know i just i don't know so i feel like if it wasn't for ralph pushing me to join that facetime call i wouldn't really know how to treat girls now and just be a better all-around person, to be honest. That's what I would say. <laughs> Relationship status? Oh, man. Lately, i just been... Um, I don't know. I was on the phone with Ralph last night talking about girls, kind of. And I'll do it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care, to be honest. I don't allow myself to have crushes anymore because high school crushes are stupid, to be honest. Um, Because you end up going to... You're going to be breaking each other's hearts at the end of the day. I don't want to sound like a sad boy or whatever, but, like, that's the truth. They don't usually last for that long. Maybe a couple months. There are a couple that last for longer than that, obviously. I have a couple friends who are in a year and a half relationship maybe two years but um that's very rare nowadays because everybody wants um you know what people want so (laughs) i mean it's just hard for me to really find a good christian girl you know i don't want to say that because a lot of people i dock are christian girls but you know i mean i just feel like i haven't met the true person for me yet i have a lot of friends um obviously i have alex and ralph but i would say like I have more friends that are girls than guys that are, are friends. Wait, I have more friends that are girls than guys that are friends. Yeah. I usually stop myself from trying to have a crush on girls because I know how it ends. Um, I'm either going to end up breaking their heart or they're going to end up breaking mine. So I think to myself, why even um, put myself in that position to be hurt like that? So I don't. I would say two things. I kind of agree with the not having problems with anybody because before 10 p.m. quarantine, I would hold grudges, so it was so bad. Like, my grudges would, like, last months and months and months and just be weighing down on me. So now um, I strive to not hold grudges against people and uh, meet a new person every day at school. A lot of people think it's weird that I talk to everybody. But I just really enjoy it. I like making people laugh and smile and things like that. So if I know I can try to lighten somebody's day, I will uh, probably try to walk up to them and just start a convo if I've never talked to them a day in my life. Like a lot of freshmen this year, I've just uh, started random conversations and now we're kind of friends. So it's like, I don't know, I really like to strive to meet somebody new every day, whether that's in school or like, I like a social gathering or something like that. Because it's cold. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Is it still recording? Yeah. So, yeah, that was bad for you. Like I said, completely transparent person when it comes to talking about how he really feels deep down inside. And I know for me, back when I was in high school, junior year, I know I wouldn't state some of the stuff that he said. And for him to do that now, it's just, it means a lot.
not only to me but like to I guess whoever views this I don't know but it's just deeper deeper to me than probably others but um yeah I just thank you guys for watching this video appreciate it for um you guys watching the full length uh I just ask you guys to subscribe at your own will like comment do whatever to help a brother out uh I just thank Matt this man's awesome blessed uh ever since I added him to 10 p.m in quarantine group only seen a light from this man and so I just really thank the Lord for bringing him inside of my life uh, I sound nervous. <laughs> no, it's a rap. It's a rap. No cap. <laughs>